Alright, uh, it's William Jamming, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, do something like this. So basically, we're going to use um, two uh, major functions of uh, Comfort UI. One is LoRa, so we got this base model and use LoRa to control it. And uh, what I'm going to do is not just use one LoRa, but I want to show you that you can use LoRa stack to, um, uh, to switch from different LoRa to control the base model. And I'm going to introduce guys a really interesting model called Counterfeit and uh, the sketch style. Uh, this is uh, like a two combination that I used that uh, you can you can get a really brilliant result. So you guys can see, I got this uh, manga style result. Uh, let me just open this. Uh, just um, uh, I generate earlier. Okay, so uh, I just uh, uh, type in the front uh, prompt something like uh, you know. Uh, Amazing anime girl in the park sketch line or something like that. It will give you a, uh, a typical, you know, a, a black and white um, manga style sketch. I love this kind of style because I I read a lot of manga. <laughs> I know, and uh, I want you know uh, I, I know because I read read a lot of manga. I know there's a lot of uh, training um, uh, of of manga and. Um, that's why I, well, I want to show you guys. So this is a, like a bird on a tree. Okay, and I also, let me just show you. I also generate another uh, using different prompts. So uh, yeah, um, but, um, but here is also a catch. Well, I know that you may uh, tend to, you know, stack a lot of LoRa, try to like uh, get this uh, combination of style. You can try this, but do not uh, try more than like three or four because uh, it become really really hard for you to find tuning things and uh, you might get uh, like a really weird result so as you can see i already got this uh, like one two three four i got four lore uh, and the, the the model just to get uh, completely confused and uh, it would just give me uh, like a really crappy result like this uh but if i decrease uh, one lore it will give something like this and decrease another, you'll get something like this. So it tends to, uh, seems to that you got like one or two LoRa, you get the best result. Uh, so as you can see, uh, the model, uh, something like this. Okay, I'm not going to uh, start from scratch because uh, I already uh, make multiple uh, intro uh, videos. So uh, this will be like quickly uh, go through this. So um, low checkpoint is called counterfeit. Uh, you, can, you, you can download this model at the civil uh, AI, let, let me, uh, let me quickly give you this uh, address. Civil AI. Okay. Uh, just wait for it. Yeah, just this website, right? Civil AI. Okay, so basically, you just need to search a model here and download uh, download this model. Okay, so uh, I'm going to search this. Uh, because uh, Civil AI, the, the reason I do not like a search uh, uh, while recording is that. Uh, because of the YouTube's, um, you know, uh, guideline. Okay, I have to all, like obey this. Uh, and um, in CVI, uh, not every model is uh, like uh, you know, um, uh, work safe. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, well, search convey something like this. Okay. Okay, just uh, get some base model like this. Okay, uh, it's a checkpoint stable diffusion uh, uh, SD one point five. You can just uh, download this model. Okay, and uh, you download that um, at uh, a specific folder. I, I I prefer to put it under the model, and uh, yeah, and, and put all this LoRa on the LoRa uh, directory, and then you load LoRa, right? And before we actually load LoRa, is um, um is it's not a big deal, but uh, I, I have seen a lot of guys just uh, you know stop at the clip layer uh, minus one, so it's not not the final one, but the last one just just give it a wiggle room, um, not like a finished results uh, from the start, okay? And you load this uh, lower course sketch style, uh, um, safe sensor. This is amazing, Laura. That can um, sort of if you just use counterfeit. Um, it will just give you a uh, like a really um, good results, but sometimes it will give you like a really colorful result. So I want to, you know humanize this and make it more you know uh, more random, more um, scratchy line, uh, sketchy line. So I, I use a sketch line safe tensor, a LoRa, 
Uh, so if you just use this, it will just give you a, a result like this. So let, let me uh, uh, switch off all the LoRa st uh, stack. So you can none, okay, and of course you can you can choose that, but you can switch off. So we we have no result, no influence on your original model. So uh, let me just show you, okay. Let me just switch everything off. Of course you you, you can add more LoRa stack, okay. You can you just go here and add uh lower stack and you can get like a yeah multiple stacks but uh, i do not recommend it in, in fact i do not recommend in fact this one because normally one stack uh, and the correct trained model will, will uh, you just be fine okay so once you load your laura and uh, you got this uh, clip you just uh, um yeah load a lower stack okay so right now it does not matter because the lower stack will just you know um switch off and then you got this uh yeah positive as well as negative prompt and then uh go back to the k sample and very decode and we can get the result preview i don't need preview let me just remove this preview okay i just need this uh save because it's already saved and you can get preview down below Okay, so uh, let's let's try this. Let's try this while I'm switching every Laura off. Uh, you guys can see the bird result because I got the positive bird line art sketch, a beautiful bird standing in a tree, cute anime style, manga, monochrome, grayscale. I, pr I prefer add manga, monochrome as well as grayscale because I want uh, like aiming for that manga, uh, uh, manga style. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the result. It looks amazing. Looks amazing, and we can you can test it out by um, uh, just to switch on one switch. So we got this uh, uh, general style Laura connection monochrome trigger. Yeah, monochrome trigger manga. Uh, but I think manga most of the time we've trained on actual um, girls and and boys and, and and all that. So um, actual trained on character rather than animal so even though you specifically say you want general animal i think most of the time it will give just give you a uh, maybe give you a girl or something like that yeah it's still an animal that's it. that's that's brilliant uh that, that's brilliant last time it's just to generate a girl standing tree with a lot of bird i don't know maybe it's the randomness uh because we we don't have like um control net to actually control this uh, generation so you have to uh use different way yeah, this bird is uh, more like a manga style, okay, more straight line. This is like more fine-tuned version, so yeah, let, let's generate again, so you guys can see the result. Still is a bird, that, that, that's brilliant, that's brilliant, still a bird. Uh, but what about I uh, and switch on another switch, okay? So uh, let me just try this, so you guys can see it, it changed uh, sort of from bird to human, okay, to character. Uh, let me just uh, generate again, generate again, and uh, as you can see, this is the last time generation, this is the current generation. As you can see, I believe it's, a, it's an anime go. Okay, so if you look at here, uh, I use this um, uh, manga general, so I, I use two. Oh, sorry about that, so this is like a two. I believe the first one uh, shouldn't be something like this, so like a hand paint, something like that. Hand paint, yeah, hand paint. So if I use two, the weight definitely will influence too much. Uh, so it will, even though you say it's a bird, uh, uh, it's, it's a human. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, the first, I think, uh, is a hand painting portrait. So it's, uh, okay, so if I uh, use this, well, it's a bird. Sometimes it's a bird, sometimes it's, uh, it's human. I'm not sure what's going on, but uh, hey, that's how uh, the black box works. Okay, so you have to try and make it consistent result so I personally um, recommend that remove this stack and switch off all this thing that you do not need and just use one uh, for this uh, like a sketch style do not use this uh, paint but rather use the, like a manga or hand draw uh, line or trigger something like that okay so or maybe just a sketch a style I'm going to use the hand draw just to just to return this back to normal, so you guys can can uh, can see. And of course, if you want to uh, control the results, you can you can you can you, you can like uh, make the seed not random, uh, not randomize. Um, yeah. So this is much more clean 
generation. Okay, so it's um, like a like a line arts that that you can you know feel the color and add the detail. So it just give you a basic reference. So I love this, and I believe. Uh, remember, my channel is called Learn Digital Art, and uh, this series is um uh, is is, is uh, how digital artists can use AI to help them. So I think it's um. This is a really good tool uh, for, for you guys to use, especially uh, if you're a beginner and uh, you, you want uh, you know, have some idea, inspirations, you can do something like this. Okay, I believe you can look a lot, a lot from this. Uh, but obviously, sometimes it will have uh, some uh, error. So if, if you look at the, uh, the crawl here, right, this have one, two, three, four fingers. This has just got two, it got all messed up. Uh, what was this bird? <laughs> okay, so it will have a lot of um, inconsistency, so you have to manually modify that. But if you like, um, like you're on the schedule, you, you have to, you know, push forward, or uh, you have a limited time, uh, but you have to, you know, quickly get some bigger project done. So, for example, I make games and I make visual novels. So, um, the uh, the drawing just a small part of a, of a of a bigger project. So, um, I I will use AI for my other projects. Not 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 just the uh, the long digital art. Not not in the long digital art. Sorry about that. Not in the long digital art. If I use AI in the in this channel, I will I will clarify this. I, I will I will say about this. I will I will. Um, you know, before everything, I would say, hey, uh, I use AI for this, okay? Uh, but uh, in my coding channel, as well as the, um, my uh, commission, as well as, uh, it's, it's not about commission, it's more, more about contract uh, of, uh, say, making an app, making a game, something like that, I will use this because uh, I will increase the efficiency. Uh, so that's my um, opinion. You have to declare this. You have to, you know, uh, do not, like, steal from others. Um, and... Um, um yeah just just to make it that didn't embrace ai and leading the ai into the right way rather than just to, you know completely um ban ai okay so yeah uh yeah by the way uh, if you want to download my workflow i got like a, a lot of workflow right now uh let me let me show you okay here's my workflow i already like um already share this uh in my patreon Okay, I will add this later. I will get black white um, latency uh, uh, upscale control net open post. Uh, my workflow so is basically this uh, project and um, upscale new sketch to style. Yeah, 2D, 3D. Um, yeah, we go all, all that. That tests all things. Uh, so if you want to download this uh, or, if, or if you just want to support me, do you please join the Patreon. You can download all this. And um, yeah, I know I will update. Uh, so yeah, uh, thanks. Bye.